What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. Today about Scream 6 in this video here again today. So yesterday, last night, was a big day for our Scream fans. We got the Kirby Reed announcement, got the confirmation that she is indeed going to be returning to reprise her role as Kirby. Hayden that being, of course, back in Scream 6. Jasmine Savoy Brown wasted no time responding to this with excitement. Uh, quote tweeting Michael Kennedy who is the writer of Freaky who if you haven't seen that movie go check that out she stated that grew up watching her and now I get to be in a movie with her uh, this is so cool and then Scream the admin over on Twitter sh said where, where, where's my invite to Mindy and Kirby's movie nights uh, bestie so does this mean is this them already of course teasing us because they know that the fans want it that we are going to be getting scenes between these two characters in Scream 6 now I know for a lot of people having some tidbits about that released would then eliminate your worry about her dying in the opening but I think that there is some strengths that you could accomplish from having Kirby in the opening. Not that she should die, but if she is immediately shown in the opening sequence, you already have an anxiety that's going to come over your audience. Especially if the audience that I'm thinking of, or I hope to be in attendance with when I see this movie in theaters, is a bunch of Kirby fans. They instantly see Hayden in the opening. That's just going to be instant anxiety throughout the whole opening, with Hayden just doing some of her best acting she's ever done and then she ultimately doesn't die but someone else who's present in the opening with her could die like a love interest or somebody else and then that's just a brilliant way i think to already be playing with your audience because i think what you'll notice here is people all i'm not saying everybody liked mindy but with mindy and kirby you have two randy s characters who are i would say much more beloved than randy for a lot of people um and what you could do this time with both of them present, one being confirmed alive after thinking she was dead for over a decade, and the other one almost being killed in Scream 5, made it out alive thankfully, and you could play up, okay, which one of these two are you guys willing as a fan, fan base, to let go of? Who, who would you pick? if you had to kill one of them they could play that up very well in the movie where every time these two are in a dire situation your anxiety is through the roof they can also of course have those brilliant sequences that i know a lot of you are thinking of where they're sparring back and forth talking about their passion for horror going over all this extensive horror knowledge seeing who comes out on top and any random weird trivia games that they might play you know there might be even a thing that where they set up and establish that kirby and Mindy somehow met in between the events of five and six and they've been friends for, for whatever reason because I know people have been saying oh well how will you intersect or introduce Kirby into the new group what if because again we saw in screen five the easter egg said interview with, with Woodsboro survivor Kirby Reed it said it was done three years ago from the time it was uploaded on the screen that on Richie's computer so maybe Kirby has indeed been going on press runs or kind of just turning her trauma into more of a online platform for herself maybe kirby has a podcast or just something where she it, where something relating to her going around talking about her struggles talking about how she made it out of woodsboro alive and she of course will learn about these other things that happen in woodsboro she sees these other survivors sees how they're suffering sees that they were connected to these other people that she knows about of course gail weathers sydney prescott dewey riley and somehow from them coming to new york she of course we just happen to be there and that's how her and mindy could collide because mindy could go reach out to kirby because of how she's struggling to cope with what happened in scream 5 and again maybe there's also something that happens with chad in this movie that draws her over to kirby and that's where that bond will grow maybe chad unfortunately does die maybe mason gooding's character bites the dust in the opening of scream 6 and Oh, and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that would be something I think you could do. It's something to explore. Again, an anxiety would just be all over the place in the opening. You could do a Kirby opening attack where her boyfriend dies, but the anxiety, of course, stems from the fact that Kirby herself is in, in a dire situation. There's a lot of fake out moments where you think she's about to die. She ultimately, of course, again, makes it out alive. How that all goes down and with the killer that's present in the home, either being killed or alive by the end of it, that can go either way. But then you can flash to something outside of Kirby over to where Chad and Mindy are. Mindy comes home and finds Chad dead. 
and then there, there's your opening for Scream 6. You lost a survivor from Scream 5, and Kirby was involved in a home invasion attack that resulted in the loss of her boyfriend or whoever she's dating, if she's dating at this time of her life. I think that could be something that's, again, very anxiety-inducing from the very beginning by having you think that this person they just told you was alive is going to die to now shifting it to, well, she made it out, but this person you just met in Scream 5 that you probably loved, they're dead. And then that could be used as a way to bring Kirby and Mindy together over her mourning Chad's death. And then again, you could have those those moments of, of just blissful, comedic, horror spewing dialogue, banter, going back and forth, the knowledge of horror, who comes out on top. Any and all things that I know fans of these two characters are going to just eat up. Because I think that these two will indeed meet in Scream 6. Uh, Hayden Panettiere dying in the opening I do know that it will get received very poorly Even if it does happen I'm not someone who will be against it But I think if it were to happen It's important to remember that It's probably a good chance that that was on Hayden's part More so than it was on Radio Silence's part And Guy and Jamie's part Not to say that they are Not going to change their minds About things that they wanted to do with Kirby But I think that if they ultimately kill her In the opening it was mostly coming from a place Of where Hayden said I think we should do this, not only because of the personal stuff that I'm still dealing with, but only because of the fact that I think we should try to do something shocking and kind of pull the rug out from under everyone who was so excited about Kirby being back. But then again, she does love this character, and I do think she would want to utilize this as a chance to show off her talent even more. Not that an opening kill sequence wouldn't be enough to show off that she still still has it, but I think she would want like several instances to shine in this movie as this character so she can show that she's still an attractive person you can pull into your movies to appeal to other things because again with knowing that hayden's back i hope she just starts returning other projects as well outside of scream but let me know what y'all think about jasmine's comments down in the comment section below do you want to see them have scenes together in scream 6 if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video